welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another meal plan and grocery haul video. It has been quite some time since I've done one of these. I'm so excited to get back to this and I know many of you are excited as well. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Christy. I'm currently following the WW Blue program, but I do provide the points for all three programs on my channel. I will also always give the link to the recipe. So if you're not following WW, you'll be able to get the nutritional facts from the website. All right, so I'm gonna get right to it and show you what we're planning on for this week. So, uh, and if you, I'm trying to hold my light and do this at the same time, but I always get asked what the meal planner is that I use. This is the Skinny Taste Meal Planner, and I'll have this link down in the description box below. So for snacks this week, I'm gonna probably just be sticking with fruit and then pudding and Cool Whip, which is three points for the pudding and Cool Whip. I was gonna get some of the Snack Factory pretzels this week, but I decided not to. I'm gonna try and cut back a little bit on those. I've been really, while I've been sick, kind of snacking on a lot of pretzel cracker type things, so I wanna try and back off of those. Normally, I do my breakfast and my lunch Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is what I prep for, and then Thursday and Friday, I always do something different. For breakfast this week, I'm doing a little bit different. I'm gonna be home Monday morning, so I'm just gonna do eggs, fruit, and Canadian bacon. I'll just make that when I get up, so there won't be any prep for that. Um, the eggs on blue are zero, blue and purple are zero, and of course, two points for each egg on green. And then I'm gonna do fruit for zero, and then Canadian bacon, I can have four slices for one point. And then every morning I will have my coffee. I have two cups of coffee and each one is one point. I use one point worth of the sugar-free French vanilla creamer. My husband and I have been craving a pancake bake. I've been eating eggs like all the time for the last month. So we've been craving a pancake bake. So for meal prep, I'm gonna be doing a blackberry pancake bake. So I'm probably gonna use my, my base, which is my blueberry pancake bake and I'm just gonna do blackberries instead of blueberries. So that's gonna be three points, and that is three points on all, pro all three programs. And then Thursday, I'm gonna do, or no, Friday, so that's gonna be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday this week. And then Friday, I'll probably um, make an omelet or something. We are for a load on Friday, so I'm, I'm gonna be home on Friday. So I think that day I will probably do an omelet. I'm estimating four points because it just depends what I feel like putting in it that day. So for lunch prep this week, I made pizza pinwheels quite a long time ago. I think it was a while ago. So we are really looking forward to those. I tried those, just kind of threw them together one day, and we absolutely loved those. So that's what we're going to be having for lunch, and those are six points on all programs. And that's going to be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday for lunch, I'm going to be having leftovers from dinner the night before. And Friday for lunch... I'm going to be doing leftovers from dinner the night before. So once you see the dinner, I'll show you that. So for dinners on Monday, I'm going to do garlic parmesan salmon. Monday nights, we usually always have salmon. Uh, although I wasn't having it as much when I was sick. So happy to get back to it. So garlic parmesan salmon, that's two points on blue and purple. And 10 points on green. But the 10 points is for farmed. So it depends if you use the wild caught. And then I'm gonna just pair that with rice for three points and broccoli for zero. Tuesday night, I'm doing garlic herb pork tenderloin with roasted potatoes, carrots, and gravy. That's nine points on blue, six points on purple, and 12 points on green. Then on green, that is higher points because of the amount of potatoes I use. So you could definitely cut down on potatoes and lower your points. And then Wednesday night, I, that's going to be my first day back to the office actually since in over a month since I've been sick. So my husband is going to cook on the grill that night so that I don't have to come home and cook. So we're going to do barbecue chicken for zero. And then I'm just going to use those little instant mashed potatoes, the little red, I think they're like home style reds or something. And those are, I believe four points. And then we'll do, do corn on the cob for zero. And for the corn on the cob, I usually just use spray butter. Um, Thursday night, we will do public subs, and I estimate those to be 12 points. It just depends what I end up putting on them. depends on how many snacks I had during the day to see whether I have cheese on it or oil and vinegar or what I have on it. So that will be dinner Thursday night, and then also lunch. I'll have leftovers for lunch Friday. So... That's where the leftovers on Thursday, I'm gonna have leftover chicken for lunch, 
from the chicken that we have the night before. And then Friday night is going to be steak night. And I have a question mark because it just completely depends what type of steak we get. It depends what we have with it. I will probably do baked potatoes or something with it. So that is the meal plan for this week. And then I have my little grocery list. And then the weekends, we don't plan the weekends out in advance. We wait and because we just never know what's gonna go on. Uh, whether we're gonna have our grandson and you know what we're doing. My husband usually likes to cook out on the grill on the weekends. So, all right. So I will follow this with my grocery haul. I am so happy to be getting back to normal after this last month of being sick and not doing any meal preps, any meal plans, any grocery hauls. It's just been crazy. So I'm so excited to come to you with this. Now there are some things that my husband has picked up over the last couple weeks that won't be included in this. He did a little bit of a Sam's Club haul and got some chicken breast and things like that that obviously I was sick and didn't film. So we really didn't need a whole lot of stuff. I did a Walmart delivery, which I am probably going to be canceling and doing just going back to the Walmart grocery pickup. I did the delivery because I wanted to try it out. So I think we're going to go back to the Walmart grocery pickup, which is good because there's no charge for that. I also did a small Publix Instacart delivery. So let's get on with this haul. The first thing I needed was some parrot food for my bird. I got a couple things of Diet Coke. I picked up two things of water. These are 32 packs. One of them we already have in the garage. I ordered my husband some Chex Mix. He likes the bold flavor. That's kind of like his nighttime snack. They didn't have it. So they replaced it with two of these 10 count bags of traditional flavor. He does not care for these. And I thought, well, these will be perfect for me because they're already portioned out. But y'all, these are seven points. That's way too much for me for a snack. But I will say that when our grandson comes over, he's always grabbing my husband's Chex Mix box and snacking on them. So I thought these would be good for him. So I'm going to go ahead and keep those. My husband was actually going to return to the store and get a refund. But I said, no, we'll just keep them and give them to Logan. Uh, also, another thing that they didn't have, we usually do the Trop 50 orange juice, which is 50% less sugar and also 50% less points. So this kind is what they replaced it with. This is six points for one cup. That's okay because my husband drinks this. I don't usually drink juice. I like to get my juice from regular oranges. So that'll be fine for him. And then I got two things of cage-free brown eggs. Those are zero points on blue and, zero points on blue and purple, two points on green. And also some Cabot full fat cheese, four points for one ounce. Some Velveeta slices, those are one point for one slice or three points for two slices. I also got the Equate. This is the generic version of Premier Protein. I've actually, I don't think I've ever tried this kind. So if you've tried this, let me know in the description box if you like this kind. So these are only two points per shake. I also got some unsweetened almond milk. This is zero points for half a cup or one point for one cup. Some no calorie sweetener. That is what I use in my coffee. I use two of those in my coffee. Some potatoes and these are zero points on purple. And then five, you can have five ounce potato for four points. I also got some spinach, that's zero. I thought about making some omelets this weekend and I wanna cut up some spinach in there. As you know, spinach is a powerful, a power food, very good for you. Also got some romaine lettuce for salads this weekend and a couple cucumbers for in the salads. And I think that that was it from Walmart. No, I'm wrong. I did also get a cantaloupe from Walmart and a pine pineapple from Walmart. I'm pretty sure I got my bananas from Publix. Either way, it doesn't matter. I think the bananas were from Publix, cantaloupe Walmart and the pineapple from Walmart. And real quick, before I move on, let me tell you about the pineapple and the way to store it. I was watching Lindsay at the Mom Logs, and she was saying that rather than sitting these up like this, to put it down on its side, and that way it gets sweeter, kind of gets all the juices flowing through it better, and helps it to ripen, ripen sweeter, is my understanding of what she said in her video. So... Nice tip by Lindsay at the Mom Logs. 
So the rest of the stuff is from Publix. So I got some carrots, and of course those are zero. Some, I can't believe it's not butter, spray butter, that's zero. I got some Lando Lakes light butter, that's two points for one tablespoon. Some salmon, I love the salmon at Publix. My husband and I tried the wild caught salmon from Walmart and we did not like it. It just was way too fishy tasting. So the Publix farmed salmon is sustainably farmed so I that's what I look for is is the fish sustainably sustainably farmed and so theirs is claims to be so that's what I got so this is zero points on blue and purple and you can have four ounces for six points on green if you were to get wild caught salmon obviously then on green it, I believe it's less points and this is so good so I think I did a video a couple weeks ago showing that they had the no sugar added. It's like the Sweet Baby Rays, but it's just called uh, Rays. And the kind I think I had before was original. Y'all, this hickory kind is so good. We have had it on chicken. We've had it on pork chops. This is amazing. When I was sick, my husband was doing a lot of cooking on the grill because I was craving chicken and we, I was kind of dipping it in this. I didn't want to really have too much, but it was so good. So this is amazing. I would highly recommend trying this if you're looking for a low sugar barbecue sauce. And you can have two tablespoons for zero points. Anything over two tablespoons becomes a point. I also got these protein bars. My husband likes these. I actually like these, they're not too bad. It's just, they're five points for one bar. So, Again, kind of one of those things, I don't really like to use bars or drinks as replacements for meals, but for, you know, a nice protein snack, they're they're pretty good. Not as much protein, obviously, as the shake, but they're not too bad. They are tasty. They're, I can't say they taste like a candy bar, but they are pretty good. I also got some popcorn. I make my popcorn in a glass, uh, it's like a popcorn glass dish that I do in the microwave. And somebody requested of me how I make my popcorn, so I will put a video together to show you how I do that. So this is three points on blue and green and zero points on purple. And then I got some Thomas's English muffins. This is the high fiber kind. These are three points. I also got some multi-purpose solution for my contacts and needed some more Q-tips and also got some outlet covers because our grandson is getting to that age where he's trying to go around and check out all our outlets. So <laughs> I need to put some little covers in there. Okay, everyone. So I thought I was done with the grocery haul, but it's actually Saturday and I did do another small grocery haul uh, after I ended up putting my meal plan together and realized that I needed some more things. So I thought I would show you what I ended up getting. So I did a very small Walmart grocery delivery. Let me share with you what I got from Walmart. I needed some green onions. So I got those. I got some red peppers and green peppers. I got some mozzarella for the lunches this week and usually I get polio I think polio is two points for one ounce so this is a little bit more this is three points for one ounce or you can have five points for two ounces and then I got some turkey pepperoni this is again I've shared this several times so if you've seen this before sorry for repeating myself but this is something that it says 17 slices for two points but if you toggle the number in your app, you will find that you can actually have 25 for two points. And then if you want just one point worth, you just bump it down to 15. And I got a cantaloupe. I got some Tostitos queso. So a lot of you know I used to use the Aldi queso all the time. I don't know if they changed their queso, but it seems like there's a lot more pieces of peppers in it. And we really haven't been liking it. So... This is definitely more expensive than the Aldi brand, but this is what we've been using. I really haven't been using this as much as I used to, but this one is a little bit more in points. For this one, it's two points for three tablespoons or one point for one tablespoon. Uh, I just had them throw in some turkey breast. I just like to have this in the fridge sometimes. And this one you can have four and two thirds grams for one point. And that's on all programs. This is turkey oven roasted turkey breast but it still was scanning as a point even for blue and purple so uh, there must be something in it that's making it scan. I uh, got some poppables. These are the sea salt and vinegar. So again this is another thing. This one it's five points for an ounce. If you look at the back 
it says an ounce. Let me try and focus here. About 28 pieces. So obviously I would recommend weighing it out, but if you are counting it, when you toggle this one, you can actually have 33 pieces for the five points. So here are the, the ones if you wanna cut it down, 27 pieces for four points, 21 pieces for three points, 15 pieces for two points, and nine points, nine pieces for one point. And then I got a couple of things of the snack pack, sugar-free pudding, these are two points per cup. They were all out of the chocolate, so I just got the mixture. Got some of the Nature's Own Life sugar-free whole grain bread. That's a true one point for one slice or two points for two slices. Extreme Olay Wellness Wraps. This is the high fiber ones. These are one point each and these are what I'm gonna be using for the lunches. And then finally, <laughs> my husband went to Publix for me. I needed some Kodiak cake mix for the breakfast and also they had Mrs. Butterworth on BOGO so I had him pick up a couple of those. So uh, the Mrs. Butterworth is zero points for one eighth of a cup or one point for a quarter of a cup. He also grabbed some of the A1 sauce that he likes. This is A1 thick and hearty. And this one comes out to one point for one tablespoon or three points for two tablespoons. And then the Kodiak Cakes Pancake and Waffle Mix is five points for half a cup. So I had already actually done the closeout, done the ending on the other grocery haul that I showed previous. So for this clip, I'm just going to stick this in the middle and then now I will take you back to the ending. So that is it for my grocery haul this week, y'all. I'm so excited to get back on track. I will be doing a meal prep video this weekend. Not sure how big I'm gonna be doing though. I don't know if I'll be doing my dinners. I'm just gonna take it slow and see how I make it through. If I get start getting tired, then I definitely will you know, just tell y'all, look, I can't do any more. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and put any comments down below that does help my channel. I greatly appreciate it. If you're new, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also click the notification bell. That's what notifies you anytime I upload new content. I will talk to y'all in my next video. I'm Christy and I'm planning us healthy.